Hello everyone, this is Nathan Bryan from the Digital Monkey School. Uh, this is lecture two of the Beginner's Maya, Maya class. So today we are going to talk about the HUD and being able to create things in the scene. Uh, last week we talked about our individual ability to move things in the scene. Let's start creating things to move. So there are two different ways. One is the file menu up here. If you click on this little drop down menu, it gives you a bunch of different stages of animation that you can choose from. Uh, animation, polygons, rendering, uh, dynamics. Uh, right now we're just going to stick with the polygons and animation uh, tabs here. So I'm going to hit polygons. And this brings up a set of file options uh, which will allow us to like edit objects in the scene. If we hit create, we can go to polygon primitives. This gives us a bunch of objects we can create. The default for Maya is to have interactive creation on. Um, this will allow you to create the individual objects by dragging them on the grid. Many people don't like this as it's, uh, it leaves objects with different types of scales. We want to, want to stick to the 1-1 one, one scale so that any time we change it, you'll see the numbers move. So we're going to hit Interactive Creation Off. And go ahead and create you know, a sphere or a cube. And you can move it around, test it, scale it. Remember for... The hotkeys for these, W, E, and R. If you need to select an object and you can't, hit Q. But there is one object we've just created, and that, that could be the head for our character in our next lecture. But we before we do that, there is a second option you may choose. I suggest picking one of them and sticking with it. That way you'll always know where to find things. The second option is this tab menu down here. This is an editable, you know, being able to edit it. And uh, we can discuss that in a later lecture. But for now, you can ex you know, go through these and see what's there. A lot of them are extremely confusing at the moment. We will go over those in future classes. But if we can, we can find out polygons, and this gives us a bunch of things including you'll notice the first few are objects we can create S sphere cube cylinder cone plane torus again we're just going to stick with you know sphere cube and cone and cylinder if you want for our first character it's going to be very basic so we're just going to stick with these we're not going to edit them any that'll be for a future class. For this lecture we're going to create a cube and this is going to be the chest for our character in our next lecture. You can scale it around, move it just like you did the sphere. So this is the exact same thing as creating it up here. It's your, it's your choice how you prefer it. Uh, some prefer using it straight through the create tab. Others prefer, you know, having the polygons tab bring it up. So uh, that's it for today's lecture. Uh, the next lecture is going to be about creating our character and connecting up the individual objects for the animation segment. So have a nice day, and I will see you next time.